Hey guys, welcome to another Minecraft modding tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to create a new item in Minecraft. So the first thing I'm going to mention here is that my old mod better villages folder that I've been using up to this point has mysteriously gone missing. Uh, apparently it was deleted somehow. So to start this video off, or I guess before I started this video, I made a new folder, mod-spellcraft. Spellcraft is just a name I came up with in like 10 seconds, so if someone out there already has rights to it or, you know, whatever, then I'm not all that concerned about it. Just yell at me in the comments and I'll change it. In here, all I've got is my MCP extracted out. I got all my files set up and all that stuff. And I've got just a blank starter file that extends base mod in here. So let's get started. First thing you want to do, just like with making a block when you're creating an item, is go public static final. Now, I've already gone over this, so you should know what all that means. And you just want to do item. And in my case, I'm going to be making an obsidian rod. So there is my item. Now, what is an obsidian rod? An obsidian rod, just like with a block, is a new item obsidian rod. Let me just make sure I spelled all that right. Looks like it. Okay. I have a real problem, for whatever reason, typing obsidian. So, I've mistyped it a couple times so far already, and I haven't even really done anything with it. I All I did so far was create an image and... I forget what it's called, let me look. GIMP! Okay, there we go, how could I forget that? But, uh, just like with blocks, all you do with images is you tuck them inside your Eclipse client bin folder. As you can see, it's just sitting right there, obsidianrod.ping. Um, anyway, I got kind of sidetracked there. So, item obsidian rod equals new item obsidian rod, pretty self-explanatory. The big angry red underline there is because item obsidian rod doesn't actually exist. So let's go ahead and create a new class and call it item obsidian rod. There you are, item obsidian rod, and it extends item. So now we're just going to give it a quick constructor here. It's item obsidian rod, once more, not rob, obsidian rob. Sounds like an action hero or something, I don't know. Kids cartoon show, obsidian rob. And let's just give it an int id so that it can pass that on to its super. And we're done. That's it. All that needs to go in here. So back in our spellcraft um, file. Why is that? Oh, let me hit save. Now, as an item ID, let's just give it 400. As you might be able to just notice immediately there, item IDs can go a lot higher than block IDs. I mean, I wouldn't go and set all my IDs to 7 trillion and 2 or anything like that, but... Like, I happen to know that the records are like 2300 or somewhere in that neighborhood. So you don't have to be worried about going to like four, five, six hundred in your item IDs to avoid conflicts with anything. So after we've given it an item ID, in my case I just gave it 400. Because I think 400 is clear, doesn't have anything in it. I'm just going to go set item name. And... This is an internal name, so, you know, it's not going to appear in-game or anything like that. This is just how Minecraft internally refers to it. So I'm just going to call it an obsidian rod, all lowercase, one word, you know, no big deal or anything. So we've got our obsidian rod item defined. Now what we want to do is make sure that mod loader knows about it, just like you would do with a block. So we're going to create a mod spellcraft constructor here. 
whoops, there we go, and we're just going to do mod loader, add, whoops, screwed it up already, add name, just like you would with a block, and you'll just put obsidian rod, and this is the end game name, so make sure it's all properly capitalized and spelled right and everything. Obsidian Rod. And we want to make sure that we use our own custom texture that we've created, because an item using a predefined texture would be pretty sucky. So you want to do, you know, your item name. In my case again, it's Obsidian Rod. Dot icon index equals mod loader add override seeming familiar yet so here rather than terrain.ping like we do for a block we want to override the item ping file which is slash gui slash items.ping make sure you get all those slashes in there they're real easy to forget and you want to add on again slash and then your name in my case it's obsidian rod dot ping the ping right there is also something that's easy to forget sometimes I find myself doing that from time to time so just make sure that you know it's all in there because it can really give you a headache if you forget to put one of them in there and you're you know it'll throw an error saying you can't find the file or whatever and anyway just make sure that's all in there right and uh, theoretically that shouldn't throw any errors for me, so let's give it a try. Hey, look at that, no errors. All right. Well, I would go in game and let you guys see it, but seeing how this is an item and doesn't exactly spawn in the world anywhere, and even if it did, I hadn't added any world spawning code, we wouldn't be able to see it. So I'm going to come down here and give it a crafting recipe. Crafting recipes can look a little bit intimidating, but there's really nothing all that complicated to it. It's just mod loader, add recipe, uh, there we go, and it asks for an item stack and an object. I'll show you what that means right here. Rather than typing it out and trying to memorize all of it, it's easier when you're first starting to just come down here to crafting manager right there open that up and you get all these recipes for all the blocks in the game so let's just grab this one as an example I think this is bookcases yeah bookshelf right there and just plop that down right there now, as you can see, it creates a new item stack. If you don't know what an item stack is, highlight it, open declaration, you should have this whole, you know, the whole drill down by now. An item stack, you can pretty much just think of it as your inventory. So whenever you open up your inventory and you have a stack of 53 arrows, you don't have 53 individual arrows all throughout your inventory. You have an item stack of arrow, and the count is 53. Just like whenever you get four sticks out of the crafting recipe, that's because you get an item stack of item.stick with four over here as this second parameter. So... To create our obsidian rod, we're going to create an item stack of obsidian rod. And we want there to be how about three rods out of this recipe. I think three is a pretty reasonable number. Now here's the part where it may get a little complicated or intimidating. Let me just pop that up there because that annoys me. Alright, there we go. These crafting recipes apparently have changed since the last time I got into modding. So I'm just going to go over real quick how they are now. If you've, if you've never created a crafting recipe before or you've never created one like this before, it might be a good idea for you to pay pretty close attention right now. 
before, whenever you went to make a crafting recipe, I forget what the exact wording was, but there was some method or something where it would be like, you know, this letter, the ampersand, not ampersand, pound sign, uh, represents block dot planks. But now it's just single quotes, pound sign, single quote, comma, block planks. So, you know, that's pretty much what that means. As you can see here again, it's just single quote x single quote represents item dot book. So if as long as you know those two things, you can see here that it's plank 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 three on the top. This is your crafting grid. So three planks on top, three books in the middle, three blanks on bottom. Pretty simple, you know. So for my obsidian rod, I don't even need this second item here. I can delete that altogether. And I want this to be a block obsidian. So now the pound sign represents a block dot obsidian. So I don't even need this middle part here, which was books before. And I don't want it to take six obsidian to craft three obsidian rods. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to knock off two rods there. So now as you can see, the recipe is one rod on top of... Yeah, it's one rod. It's one block of obsidian on top of another block of obsidian to give you an obsidian rod. Just like you would with planks and sticks. You put one plank on top of another plank to get sticks. So I'm just going to go ahead and start Minecraft now. Go single player, I'll create a new world. Make sure it's on creative. Create. Here we go got our world up and everything. So I'll just go ahead and give myself a crafting table and two pieces of obsidian. Plop down the... Whoa, little lag spike there. Okay, Plop down the crafting table. One piece of obsidian there, one piece there, and three obsidian rods. Here is what they look like, just in case you were interested. Whoa, there we go. Yep. An obsidian rod. Alright. Pretty much it's just a retextured stick to kind of look like obsidian, but you know, whatever. And that pretty much wraps it up for crafting recipes and creating an item. Up next, I'll be... Oh, there's my timer. Perfect timing. Up next, I'll be showing you how to do right-click effects, and I'll see where it goes from there. So I'll see you guys next video.